Hi. Why don't you state your name and an occupation for the camera? Okay, my name's Aisha Sinclair. I'm a radio announcer, a TV host, and an event MC. Why don't you take us through a typical day in your life? Okay, so um, I've got two young daughters. I'm a hands-on mum, and being in radio, I start work really early in the morning so I'm up at four o'clock in the morning I get myself ready by five o'clock I leave the house and I go to work so I finish there around 12 30 or 1 if I've got like other shoots to do or um, you know an event to go to then I'll just continue from there assuming I don't have any other work I would actually go pick up my daughter Soraya from school she's in Senate one now and then I'll pick up the younger daughter from kindergarten and then I'll try and spend as much time as I can with them at the same time prepare dinner make sure the house is order and prepare what I can for the next day and not forget homework homework's a new thing for me so there's also the homework to make sure my younger daughter uh, you know prepares and make sure she completes it so yeah it's pretty much from beginning to the end, on the feet. Uh, why don't you tell us a bit more about your daughters? So, um, Soraya is seven, she's in standard one, and Aina is three. So, motherhood, I tell you. I love my girls so much and I do everything for them. My life has really changed since I became a parent. I had all these ideals, things I really wanted to achieve and how I imagined my life to look and how I'd raise my kids until I really had kids. And then everything is, you know, going with the flow, just learning how to be flexible because those are the kind of things that I learned from them. I learned how to be flexible. I learned how to be creative, to think of my feet, to always be prepared and to expect anything. So that's kind of what I've learned from them. Has it been difficult juggling between your career and family? It would be a lie to say that I'm not struggling. It would be, you know, I think every parent and mom especially because they're always, you know, in their head planning the whole week beforehand. It's, it's a struggle, it really is. It's a struggle to try and maintain your career and because those are your own personal goals at the same time. And you know, the more you, the work, the more you contribute in the office, you know, the more you're willing to do things, you know, that's when you, you will do better and you'll climb the corporate ladder faster, right? But at the same time, you don't want to sacrifice important things like family time, the kids, and having two young kids, they really need me. So it's trying to find that balance that is um, the challenge. So whenever I find myself free, I will pretty much drop everything and I would you know, put my phone on silent and be with the girls as much as I can. So I believe, unfortunately right now, I can't give them quantity of time, but the time that I do spend with them, it's quality time. It's a struggle, but it's manageable. <laughs> I wouldn't do it any other way, honestly. How do you find the time to uh, show, like, for example, love to your family? I have to schedule time with them. So if I um, want to take, my older daughter is discovering all these outdoor activities and she wants to try rock climbing and she loves the idea of going for a walk in the park or following me for one of my runs. So what I do is um, I'll make sure I schedule it. Okay, like next Wednesday from four o'clock onwards, I'll make sure I'm free. And then I'll make sure that work doesn't really creep in or appointments or anything like that. So with kids, I realized over the years that it's not so much what you do with them or the things that you do that they're excited or I always have to keep them entertained but it's more of the time you spend with them FaceTime answering their questions and even if it was just an afternoon coloring you know that's enough to just keep them happy so I have to really make sure I plot this in and schedule that time and I've really got to you know give in to certain things you know really let go like for instance the house you know, I've always imagined to be able to have a house that's perfect and clean and, you know, when, mag you know, camera crew come over and shoot or magazine, it's always ready. But here's the reality. When you've got two young kids and a job full time, you can't do that. I won't always be cooking dinner. I won't always have a home cooked meal. Yes, we'll take out a lot. We'll t so, you know, we'll, those are the kind of things that I have to sacrifice here and there. Why did you choose to be the best of yourself? Well, um, it's because I really actually love their products. A lot of people said that, hey, you know, it's another job for you. I'm sure you have to say you like it. But the thing is, I really do. For instance, their Softline Anti-Wrinkle, it, it's like a lifesaver. It really cuts down my ironing time. 
it saves time for me, I get to spend more time with the kids, and then I get more rest time also. So it's those small things that's really, really great. And of course the smell, it smells really nice. So if there's a little something that can actually help me cut down, cut down the time I spend ironing, then for me that's a win.